in this video, we'll be making this mask. I call it a Harlequin pattern. So we're gonna mix it up a little today. And I'm hoping what comes out is cool because I haven't seen it yet, because I haven't made it. So basically what I'm gonna do is I cut out two pieces each um, of the different colors and I want to um, make kind of a crazy pattern. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold each piece in half. And once they're in half, I'm going to press them in half. And we'll do each individual piece. why that harlequin mask comes to mind when i do this so what i want to do is i want my mask to be like that so in order to do that i have to sew these pieces together so i'm going to match these sides And we're going to do the seam right where that line is. So we're going to be sewing along that line. So I am going to put a few pins to hold this together. All right, so I'm going to line the needle up with that center mark there. Let's go slow. Now I'll take the pins out. And now that's what we have. So since this side is the way I need this to go bottom and top, I'm going to just fold it back over this way where my extra material was. And all I'm going to do is cut like a quarter inch seam up from the seam there. And what we're going to do is open it up. Spread it apart there. Make sure it's nice and open. And we're going to come with our arm and press that seam up. Now that's what we have. So now I'm going to do the other side. All right. So now we have both sides sewn in half. Uh, now we're going to put them together and pin them and sew them like we do for the regular mask. So I'm going to go ahead and pin this together. So since I am meshing two patterns together, I want to make sure underneath here that they line up before I pin them. So I'm actually doing it a little different than I normally do. I'm going to pin up along the seam here just so it won't shift. And then I'm going to pin the sides or the top sides mm -hmm. 
All right, now we're taking it to the sewing machine to sew those both together. Quarter inch seam allowance around the edge. Okay, so I pulled the pins out and I'm opening it. Just take a look. Oh, looks good. All right, kind of looks optical illusion-y. All right, now I'm gonna make the inside of the mask, so I'm gonna cut, need uh, two pieces of white. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. What we need to do now, as well, this is still inside out. We're gonna just clip some snips in here because just this part of the seam at the top and bottom, we need to um, iron flat. And then I just go ahead because it is a curve and snip down here. And I just turn it over, get the one back up on the other side. So what you're going to do is just spread open your mask, right side down, and you're just going to turn that edge over on the one side, and you're going to pull down. Once we open it, we're just going to press it flat, same on the other side, and then we'll do it on the other piece too. Okay, now with the two right sides facing together, we are gonna pin it around. And we just go up that side. And then on that same side, I go to the other side of it. And then we'll just flip it and do the other side. Now in order to make the mask, now that we got it all pinned together, is we are need to be able to put our finger inside the mask once it's done. So we'll start here. It's always a quarter inch seam allowance. And you're going to pivot at each point. So here you'll come down a little bit, then pivot, come along here, just to keep that quarter inch um, seam allowance all the time. So I know my quarter inch is right there. And starting out, I want to do a back stitch too with it because... When you go to put your finger in there, if you don't do that back stitch, it tends to rip the stitches out. We're going to come right to the edge there. And again, you want to turn it so it's a quarter of an inch, so it's a quarter inch there. See the, it when you turn pivoted it, it's lining up there, so you're just going to keep going around. Same with this edge, and then here you're just making sure it stays flat, but you're still keeping that quarter inch there. Keep going straight. it's lined up with that quarter inch you're still doing good there you go turn it now this has a seam here so just make sure that stays flat too on that side right to the edge there 
one pivot. done them enough that I know that my fabric needs to come right next to here so the more you sew them that you'll kind of get to know where to stop your stitching and pivot it but if you pivot it and it's not there you just turn it back and sew a little bit further okay, so I'm going to come down a bit stitch a couple stitches and we're good all right so now that we've got everything sewn around we've got our area there to put our finger through but before that I trim around my mask each corner don't hit your stitch there you just want to trim across it takes bulk out of your corners I also do that up at your nose arch there because you do get a bit of overhang with the seams the way they come together. Corner. <laughs> Don't look on the camera and try and cut. It gets you every time. All right, and then the last thing I do is at each of these little bends here, I just clip in a little bit to release some of the stress when you fold it over. Again, just make sure you don't clip on the seam. Then what I do, I take my seam here where it is open where we're gonna put our finger through. I just go ahead and fold that down on that one side, arm it. And same on this side. It's a little thicker on this one because I don't usually have a seam in the middle because we're joining more pieces together. Then we go through that hole and hopefully you left it big enough. And I go all the way, walk my finger all the way over to the other side. Pull it out with my thumb and then I just work it through. All right, now that it's all pulled through, I'm gonna put my finger back to the other side there. And I'm just gonna poke those corners out, kind of run up and pull my seams apart and just trace my finger around on both sides. All right, that's what we got so far. Don't look too shabby. So the next part is doing the ironing. Ironing. So you can see now they're more poked out. Okay, so with the inside facing up, we are gonna do some ironing. So I start first by pressing this edge just down here. And then what I do is I go up to my middle seam here and I just try to make sure the fabric's as close to the edge as it can be. Flatten that out, and then I carefully iron that side. And I'm gonna come over and do that on the other side there. Okay. 
Hang on, I just come now and windshield wiper it. Push in towards the middle a bit. And rinse and repeat on the other side. Okay, so now we're gonna make the edge piece where your cable tie goes in. Um, so you turn it over about three quarters of an inch. Just right there. And basically you just smooth it out to the sides and that should be about, I can show you better. So there's one, two, three eighths. So from that corner, it's only up three eighths of an inch. So what I'll do a lot of the times is I'll just hold it there. Obviously watch your finger and I just go ahead and press it down. It does hold well, but if you need to, you can put a couple pins in there just to tack it. This is the cable tie that's gonna go into the mask. So I lay it right along that seam, straight. And I'm doing it with this pencil to give you an idea. So you don't have to necessarily draw it all the way down, but I'm just doing it for effect. And because we can't see on that end, use my disappearing ink pen. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on the black side. So then what we're gonna do is that's where our cable insert's gonna be. And while we're at it, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same to the other side. So again, it's three quarters. Oh, sorry. Press it down. Get your cable tie in there. Draw down in the center. Right there. Okay. So basically, that's that three eighths of an inch. So you're just, this is kind of like a top stitch all the way along. So we're just sewing right along there. And you can change the color thread you're doing it with to get different effects. Sometimes that's cool part about these masks is you can change the color. Like sometimes I'll put hot pink on a black mask. It looks kind of cool. So I'm just going till I hit that blue spot right there. And I'm going to lift up my lever and pivot it. And now I'm coming back up that line there, but I'm not going off the edge. Okay, so I'm just going as close as I can to the edge. And then I'm going to pivot it, lift my lever, pivot it, come back across to that. You can see the white there. Right there. So then I'm going to stop, lift my lever, pivot it. I have to smooth everything out. I can top stitch along that edge, pivot it again. Just check your fabric there, hold it. Right over. Right when you get to that corner, don't go all the way, like just to that corner there. Lever, you're pulling it all the way around. Now you're going to come back along this edge in a top stitch also. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put our side elastics in. I use uh, extra long um, hair ties, they work awesome. Um, but if you want to use just regular elastic and sew it in a circle, this whole edge uh, equals 10 inches. So I go ahead and right where those areas are that where it folds there or where it comes down straight is where we're gonna fold it. So it ends up being three and a quarter inch again here. So right where your three quarters of an inch is, that's far enough there. 
same on the other side if you need to measure it if not you can just go straight across and then here I do put pins in And then the difference I do here to do my cable tie edge is right where the edge of that fabric is. I will put my tape measure up there. Now, depending on your mask, it's not absolutely a three inch per se from edge to edge. So I just center it and then I find the middle of that. So in this case, we're over a few eighths. So I'm just gonna center it on each side the same. And then I'm going to find the inch and the half mark right there. I'll just put the center mark there. And then I take my cable tie, make sure it's on that same center spot. And you're going to mark a line there and there, there. And there. I usually start off on this side and I'm going to come just down to the other side of this area here because I want to sew it across that. So it's kind of the same top inch measurement. So I come across when I cross over my fabric there, I backstitch again just to reassure it there. Come over to my white line. I don't know if you can really see it, but. Once I hit my white line, I pivot it up. You're gonna go straight up, but you don't wanna sew all the way to the top because you really don't wanna hit the elastic. So just go slow. If you go to go a stitch and it hits into the elastic, you can just go ahead and back it up and go over. It's not gonna hurt if it gets in, the, in it. It's not gonna change your mask. It's just, I don't sew across it. So I'm gonna come across to that purple spot. It's right there. Lift it up. Pivot, and we're gonna come right down there. Pivot it again. Come off that piece of fabric, backstitch, and you're good. And we'll do the other side. Alright, and this is the best part of the mask, so this regular looking mask, not too much to it, flat. Now we take a cable tie, 14 inch cable tie, just get them at Walmart. Make sure the smooth side faces up, not the rough. It more naturally stays uh, caved in this way than it does this way. This way it just kind of wants to pop more. Anyway, so you're gonna start, so there's, uh, one's gonna go across this way and one across this way. I always start this way. Put it in your pocket, make sure it's all the way up. Turn your mask. The trick to this is making sure as you, before you cut it, is that you are applying a lot of pressure to push that material in as much of a curve as it can. And then you're gonna just trim right under the line there. Oh, and I use cuticle cutters in my just tie, just a cable tie, just went flying. Now that I got my cable tie under control. So that end you just cut is going into that slot on the other side we made. Then that just pushes it out there. So now this piece, we are gonna keep smooth side up. We're gonna flip it under there, under that one. We're gonna go into the channel on the one side then we're gonna make sure this one's down we're gonna push as tight as we can along here and you can see the um, fabric pushing out and now we're gonna come and we're gonna cut it right below me you can't really see it but this right where we did the stitch across And then you're going to push it into that hole. And there you go. That's the inside.
check out the pocket in there now. Let's see what she looks like. Ooh, ooh. ooh I like it. I don't know why it seems harlequiny to me. If we put something in the middle there, it'd look kind of like a... Get it going fast, it'd look like some blades. <laughs> anyway, that's the mask. Look at that. Doesn't touch your mouth or your nostrils. You do get a little bit of rippling in the fabric there. That's normal, but it doesn't even touch your face, so you don't even need to worry about it. Um, it just has to do with the way the fabric is on the inside when you've got them identical and then you're pushing one out. The other one has a little more room in it. So we get a pocket of air. Don't suffocate. And it's great. So give it a try. And a like, comment, questions, leave them and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.